Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to create the game over screen. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the HUD folder, and we want to actually create a new HUD. So let's right click and let's go to the user interface and to the widget blueprint. Okay, and let's select the, select the user widget. Okay, let's call this game over for example. Okay, let's open it. And when it opens, let's create a, sorry, add a canvas. So canvas panel like that. Now let's go to the fill size. Let's change it to custom. Let's change this to, to uh, one, two, 80, like 2000, uh, 1280 and 720, like that. Okay, now we want to right click the canvas panel and we want to wrap it with the size box, like that. Let's click the size box and let's enable the width override and also the height override, like that. And the first one, we should change this to 1280, also, like that, and 720, like that. Okay, now let's right click the size box one more time and let's wrap it with the scale box. Okay, now let's go back to the canvas panel and what we want to do here now is we want to search for a text and we want to get this normal text. So let's move it to here. Now let's go to the anchors, let's anchor it to the top uh, middle point, like to here. Okay, now let's actually change this size. Let's make it 500, for example. And the height, size Y, I mean, let's make it 100. And let's open the font. Let's change the font size to like 60. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now let's change this text to game over, like that. Now let's align it to the middle from the justification here, like that. Now let's make the position X, let's make it zero. And here on the alignment, let's make this X alignment 0.5. So now it will be at the middle. Also let's make change the position Y to like 50. Okay, that's good for now. And the next thing we want to do we want to actually get a, another text. Now we want to anchor this to the middle and we want to make the position X and position Y both zero. And now we want to make this X alignment one. Okay. And yeah, let's change this text to coins and this, like this, okay. And I actually think, yeah, it's okay. So the next thing I want to do, I want to also, I want to actually align it to the right for now. Okay, like that. Now let's change this name of this text block. Let's call this coins text. Also let's change this text name to game our text like that. So let's duplicate this coins text and let's call this coins amount. Okay. And also we want to make this as variable. So is variable true like that. So what we want to do here now, we want to align this to the left and we want to change this amount. Let's change it to something just for testing purposes, so 100, like that. And let's change this color to some shade of yellow, something like that, maybe. We can later on make this all look good and stuff like that, but now this is just, we are, we are just gonna make everything work, okay? Now, actually, what I want to do here, I want to add some, actually, is this? Yes, it is. Um, Okay, let's make this position X to zero and this alignment also zero. Now let's add like 10 
to position x. So there's a little space between. So now let's duplicate this coins text text block and let's call it points text. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to add some maybe 75. Actually that's too much I think. 60. Okay, 60 to there. And I want to set this alignment to Oh, sorry. I want to set this position x to 0 like that. Okay, now let's change this text to points and like that. Okay. And I actually think they are still too far apart. Let's make this position y to Let's make it 50. Okay, now let's duplicate this points text and let's call it points amount. Sorry, amount. And also let's make it, uh, let's turn it to variable like that. Is variable true? Okay, what we want to do here now, we actually want to set this position x to 10 or what we had here, 10, yeah, and sorry, points amount, yeah, and now let's make this alignment zero, like that, and let's add the 50 to the position y, okay, and let's make the justification align text left. And let's change this text to something like 1000 for now, so now you can see how it will look, okay. So the next thing we want to do here is we actually want to create a little button. So let's search for button and let's move it to here. Now let's anchor it to the here bottom middle part. Here, let's make the uh, size x like 200 and size y like 80. Uh, sorry, no, 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 not 80, like 60. Okay, I think that's pretty good for now. And also let's set this position x to zero and also y to zero. And alignment x 0.5 and to the y, let's make it like two, maybe 2.5. Okay, that works for now. Now let's open the style. Let's open the normal and let's just change this. I will change this to some shade of white, like that. Okay. And we don't have to do anything else here now. We will later on make all this work uh, look a lot better. And I can I will show you some things how you can adjust everything and stuff like that. But for now, let's just make it work. So, okay, let's rename this button and let's call it restart button like that. Now we want to get yet another yet another text like that. Okay, and let's rename this text to restart text. Okay, now let's go to the, select the text and let's go to the color and opacity and let's change it to black like that. Now let's change the text to restart or play again or whatever. Okay, and now what we want to do, we want to click the rest of button again, and we want to scroll down from here. And we want to, here on the events on click, we want to click this plus button. So it will create a new event, on clicked, restart button. What we want to do here is we just want to execute com console command, like that. And it should be called restart level, simple as that. Okay. Next thing, what we have to do, now that we are here on the graph, let's add a variable, let's call it coins, and let's change the type to integer, oh sorry, integer, like that. Let's duplicate these coins and let's call it points, and let's change this type to float, okay, so, like that. Now let's delete the event tick and event construct. Uh, sorry, we need to uh, construct, sorry, okay, and 
uh, here what we want to do, we want to first get the uh, coins amount uh, reference. Uh, from here, we want to set text like that. And what we want to set it with is the coins variable, which we want to connect to the text like that. And now we want to open this. And what we want to do here is we want to make this use cropping false like that. Okay. And also, sorry, I forgot. Let's click this coins and let's make it instance at apple like this and expose on spawn. And also the same thing for the points variable. So instance at apple and expose on spawn like that. Let's actually compile and save all just to be sure. Okay. And the next thing, let's get the points amount. And we want to also set it, set text. Okay, let's get from here and connect to here. Now we want to get the points, of course. And from here, let's connect to here. And let's open this, use cropping, not, and maximum fractional digits zero. Let's make it like that. Okay. So let's compile and let's save all. Now we can get from this and move it this beside the, besides the third person map like that. Now what we want to do, we want to go to the, I will actually have to check. Uh, we want to go to the PP third person character. Let's open it. And here we want to find the dead function, which is, um, ba -ba 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 -ba, I don't know where it is. Dead here, okay. And here at the end, where we have the restart level execute console command, we want to delete it and we want to get from here and we want to first set game host and we want to set it true like that. So it will be post. After that, we want to create widget and we want to select the game over screen. And as you can see, now we have these coins and points amounts here because we set these variables expose on spawn and instance editable like that. If you cannot see this, you will have to check that you have set both of these. And also you want to delete this and get it again. So create widget, uh, widget like that. Now you should have them if you didn't have already. Okay. Now what you want to do here is you want to get the K mode reference. And uh, you want to get the coins amount from there. So get coins, let's connect it to here. Also, you want to get the points amount, get points, let's connect it to here. And what else? Okay, uh, sorry, after that, you want to get from the return value and you want to add to viewport like that. Okay, let's compile, let's save all. And one more thing that we have to do, let's go to the third person map. Let's right click from here and let's create a blueprint class, uh, player controller. Let's call it endless controller, for example, and let's open it. And here on the right, let's make the show mouse cursor true, enable click events true, enable touch events, enable mouse over events, and enable touch over events, all true like that. Then you can compile, you can save all, you can close this. Now we also have to go to the world settings and here on the game mode override, let's open this and let's change the player controller uh, class to the endless controller like that. Now everything should be set. So let's save all and let's play and see what happens. Okay, let's see when we die. Okay, I don't know why this is lagging so much, but doesn't actually matter. Let's see. Now, when we fall, two seconds, game over screen. And when we press this, everything works. One more thing that we can do with the game over screen that I forgot. Let's go to the back to the designer. Let's scroll back a little bit. And let's uh, click the canvas panel. Let's search for a image. Let's move the image to the canvas panel like this. Let's rename this image to Back round. Okay. Now let's go to the anchor and let's anchor it to the full screen and let's set all these offsets to zero. 
So it will be like this. Now let's make the set order like minus 5, so it's behind everything else. And now let's make the color black. And here on the alpha, let's make it like 0.5. Okay, let's save, let's compile, let's save all, let's try again how it looks. So I will quickly have to die. And also, if you did notice that the coins doesn't actually save, it's because we didn't haven't created the. Uh, oh, what happened there? I don't know. Okay, so the coins still doesn't save or the points, and we also. Uh, why doesn't this? Why don't this work? What? Let's go to the obstacles. I will have to actually quickly check this. So I think I have set these to be like too small, I think. Or maybe like let's move it like that. Also this barrier. If you have the same problem, so you just have to make this bigger or move them a little bit. Oh, I didn't want to change that. I'll change this size like that. Let's move it to here. So let's oh like that. Let's compile, save all, and now everything should work. I think. Oh, I didn't get any obstacles. Now I have. Let's see. <coughs> now we should fall when we hit this, and we do. And as you can see, coins one points. Okay, later on we will add uh, like high score here and if you make a new high score it will say that here somewhere and stuff like that. We will make this all look good. But now it works. So yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.